Good morning. It is a Monday. I am working from home today and going to the office tomorrow. So I thought I'd just do like a little two day vlog, a um, little worky vlog because what's new? Grace will not be working on the weekends with vlogging because <laughs> it is work to me. Right, I'm going to make a coffee. Also, very excitingly, this video is sponsored by Shopify, who I have used since the beginning of my business journey. Um, I'm going to tell you more about that later, but that is a very exciting moment for me. All of my businesses are still on Shopify as well. To start the Monday, what do we do? We have a good attitude. Failing that, we must plan anyway. We're gonna whiz through the productive Monday morning routine. And then also at this point, if my to-do list is starting to look really chocker. That's terrifying. I operate entirely based on emotion, so I can't feel terrified, I need to feel happy. So what I'll do is I'll take things out of my daily plan and just block them in later in the week. Right, so what I've done now, I've replied to literally all of my slacks. I've noted down anything that I need to do. And this is when I get like most overwhelmed because it's all written down and none of it is ticked off. Then what I start doing is I just put numbers by things. That means I can just like whiz through it. And this starts to give me a clearer picture about my day too. But first, we are going to do what we do best and that is eat a microwave meal. So today, this is our pick. What are we voting for? We have Firecracker udon noodles, protein power bowl, spicy Szechuan noodles, shepherd's pie, mac and greens, times two, rigatoni bolognese, and spicy Szechuan noodles. Again, I feel like those are dinner foods. I'm very particular on my dinner foods and my lunch foods. And by particular, I mean, I like to have a very indulgent dinner to celebrate having made it through the day alive. I guess we'll go in for the protein power bowl. Don't know if any of you have not heard about my shepherd's pie palava. Basically, something must have happened with our orders because when you do a brand deal, you get the product gifted as well as the brand deal, right? But I was already ordering all plants and something had glitched in the system and basically I was being sent six shepherd's pies a week which started off as like the best thing that could possibly happen to you and then ended up being like this really niche kind of like mental um, torture and then the second I'd get through like my sixth shepherd's pie six more would arrive they also couldn't locate the customer profile so no one could stop the six shepherd's pies coming to me anyway so literally since like from like September till January I was eating six shepherd's pies a week So I've whizzed through those two tasks. Now I'm going to join the train call. Okay, mate. So yeah, we've got... Oh, hello, Grace. Hello, how is everyone? Did everyone have a nice weekend? Yeah, thank you. I had two flat tires over the weekend. Two? Oh, no. At once yeah. or two separate times? At once. And everyone's like, that doesn't happen to anyone. It's the second time it's happened to me. So also the drum beat over the weekend. Was, yeah, that's it insane. Was. I won't linger over it. Please linger. Happily linger. We should be lingering on those numbers. We need to linger on so we had new customers last week um 46 percent of that was total working with the seo agency on terms that they're seeing get picked up in generic search the colors is good i would always rather know our hero and really shout about it i mean completely agree i think yusuf if we can make sure the site's ready we can send an sms earlier um right so i just finished trade and it was like it was a long one today it was like an hour and a half which i we generally do not have an hour and a half calls but sometimes sometimes the things must be done and then i was just opening pr before my next call which is in like two minutes and then i thought well a good influencer would show you what she got so first i got the new brow tint i trialed them on my brows and it looked subtle and just like lifted which we like i mean you can't look at the rest of my eyebrows because they have not been done and then this is actually not pr at all this is me being a marketer's dream so this is from tiktok shop now i don't believe i've ever shopped on tiktok shop before but i did need some new beauty blenders basically i just saw that it was this sweet woman who owns this business so i thought why not buy from her instead they do these like marshmallow sponges also not pr at all i mean kind of pr <laughs> i'm gifting myself i just got the new black wide leg trousers because i gave mine to my friend that's it no one else loves me better actually join this call hello hello how you doing 
Good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. I'd like talked a little bit top line in terms of the made challenge and creative overhaul on that. Um, you can integrate it within the strategy for the next few months because I think it'll be a good test opportunity. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Right, so I had just finished that call, which was the one to one. I'm hungry. No, that's a lie. I'd like food. Um, so I finished my calls for the day. Usually what would happen at the end of the day at like this time is I'd have my approvals email, which is everything from like Slack, Trello, Asana, emails, all of that, whether it's from personal brand stuff, Tala stuff, Shreddy stuff, like whatever it might be, all in one email. And then I go through and do that and then reply and the email takes me about two hours to do. But because my EA is off this week, I've kind of made my own approvals. I'm going to number three main things that I think will take 45 minutes to an hour and hope that that brings me to being done for 6.30. Right, when I do any sort of Q&A or vlog or anything about business stuff, I always get asked how to start a business. My biggest piece of advice is you always need to like know what your weaknesses are and mitigate them with either good software or good people. The reason I am so excited to have Shopify sponsoring this video is because I have literally used Shopify since I started selling recipe eBooks for five pounds when I had 10,000 followers on Instagram, literally nine years Ago. So with an ebook, what you want is you want to be able to set up a website, then you want it to like fulfill the electronic orders automatically, and then it be delivered to that customer seamlessly. And I was able to set that up as an 18 year old with no prior experience and no brain. Even as the businesses have grown, we have decided to stay on Shopify because we genuinely think it is so good. And there are huge businesses out there using Shopify. This is the live view, which we have streaming in the office at all times, which has total sales for the day. You can see them popping all around the world right now and just doing their thing, buying their leggings. I could not recommend Shopify enough. I've got a URL linked below. So this is your sign. If you've been wanting to start a business or are having issues with your current tech, Shopify. Shopify, I cannot recommend enough. I've just finished my work for the day. Now I'm gonna take my poor neglected dog. Oh, the fact that you stood at me and looked up when I said that means that you actually believe that. And that hurts my feelings. Because I do work hard, but I do cuddle you a lot. And I feel like it would be unfair to suggest otherwise. Also, you don't get any type of dog food. You get wet dog food. Wet dog food is not cheap. I'm gonna take him out and then I'm going to go to my friends. God, life, I have to be honest, life is really exhausting me at the moment. Oh, I just feel like I'm in like a constant state of burnout. But I think it's like the emotional responsibility of the fact that like every time there's an issue it always comes back to you as the founder and it's just so exhausting and i hate to complain because i'm in such a great situation i think in my brain i think if i just work really really hard for a few more years then i can like have babies and never work again <laughs> it's just not gonna happen yes your mother is a fashion icon oh, I you do you want to go for a walk <laughs> Um, 50,000 times better is seeing four people in Tala so far. I've been on this walk for five minutes and it's even better when they have no idea who I am. We're doing our job. Hello. Oh, you smell of food. Yeah, he ate some burger. the gym I had to get up at 6 15 today which is my least favorite time and the clocks went back this weekend so i am tired it is another day it is another dollar and if we don't go into this morning without enthusiasm then we will die i am putting some trainers on after having kit fished on tiktok with my heels i have a pretty normal day at work today to be honest 
off to the office because it's a Tuesday. We do Tuesday to Thursday in the office and Monday to Friday work from home because we are a product company and therefore we need to be working together. You cannot have collaboration and also have complete flexibility. There has to be a balance of both. Without a doubt, the hardest part of um, running a company is balancing what people want, how people work best, productivity of the company, well-being of the company, well-being of everyone in there. It always falls back on you as like a founder and to our managing director as well. She, you know, covers so much of it. You've got to be the bad guy sometimes. You've got to be like the custodian of the company. Like, you know, first and foremost, this is a company and this is a workplace and all of that but it's just you know it's tough it's tough sometimes and it's a little bit shit being the bad guy i don't know i just find it quite hard sometimes which i do think appears to be the theme of this vlog which is probably quite accurate so that's good because usually i only ever vlog when i'm in like a really good mood which as you can probably tell is not all the time i am a very happy chirpy person i do have to say but sometimes fucking hell it does really it, it all just does really get a bit much anyway today we're off as i said got a normal kind of well semi-normal working day laptop time until like well i'll do various different blocks until like 11 30 and then from 11 30 i have like kind of back-to-back -back meetings for the day but it's fine i think we have about nine hours until the day gets the better of me another thing i need advice I have eczema by my eye all of a sudden. I have some recommendations. Fucking you. I just finished the creative and feedback socials meeting, like the post-mortem thing. My next call, the team has asked me to wear sunglasses for the whole call as part of an April Fool's. <laughs> I meant one. In my head I was like, He's gonna be so confused, yes. okay. Just, gotta complete the look. Hello, sorry, one sec. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. How are you all? See you soon. Bye. Rating the pranks we pulled on our bus this week. I just call you dad. You didn't dad. Sorry. Ollie, I don't know how you feel about it, dad, but we've done quite a lot Sorry, dad. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Ollie. Ollie, Ollie. They were all in my house. What's that? What? Will I smoke something weird this morning or? No, sorry, what? I've just got to connect. Yeah, my headphones. Can you Hi, I'm starving. <clears throat> yeah. Do you think anyone's all the time? I'm out of lunch. <laughs> oh, I've got a ramen. A spicy one, do you? Yeah. I just did prep for my next meeting, which is like a weekly one-to-one -one with me and Tarvin Managing Director. I'm gonna go into that, then product, then my other call. <laughs> Internal panic about turning dirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On today's agenda, turning dirty. Turning dirty. Yeah. Look, there's been added to the agenda. Kirsten turning dirty. <laughs>
Right, so it's about 10 to 6 and I am, I'm gonna stay for about another hour. I usually wouldn't do this, full disclaimer. Basically, the two main people in our socials team are off this week because it's end of financial year, so we have lots of people taking holiday, etc., etc. The creative lead was going to be doing an outline of a social plan so that she could get the shot list done for a shoot. I'm going to do a bit of the work for it just because I want it to be easier, just because I know she's swamped at the moment. I wanted to show you kind of like how I would do that because I used to plan all of these types of things, but now I don't, but I'm still, like involved on the social side um albeit nowhere near as much there's like a full team there that does all the things and they do it amazingly okay so here you have the range plan so this is what the collection looks like you've got the colors you've got the core colors the seasonal colors you've got a breakdown of various like logistical things and what i'm going to do here and this is not going to look nice at all but literally just what i'm doing is i am wanting to write like a skeleton social plan so that we can work a shot list out of that to start planning the shoots so what i would do with this is like first and foremost it's really important because you can't show everything um, or can't put a lot of concentration on everything so first and foremost i would work out what the heroes are um because they're going to get more content than other content and then i'm going to work out what the main content types are okay so then i've worked out the main heroes and the main content types um and then we i'm going to go through by the heroes what content we absolutely need so i've just written out the heroes the i removed the jumpsuit because it's not really a hero and it only has one video that i definitely want to do on it main content types just so i can see the types of content that i'm throwing in then to the heroes before i built it out based on what was missing elsewhere so all well and good showing all the heroes but like what do i feel like is missing like a general styling video the flattering slash aesthetic reels and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this into a super easy table just so it's like nice to present. So it's 6.11 now, so it's taken me 15 minutes. Um, so here is main content types and then we've broken it down by product to make sure each of the hero products, that's annoying me that that's not in bold, get their airtime because I strongly believe you need to be doing less better, including on social media. Then content time broke, broken down by these main content types with one extra one um, just that I think we need for that specific one. Um, so kind of a bit of story storytelling so for example for the dress we tasked ourselves with the challenge of designing a perfect summer dress no need to wear a bra super flattering dress up or dress down no need to iron basically the perfect thing to pack in your suitcase obviously this is not a fully fleshed out idea it's basically just giving a sort of overview and then other content down here again annoying not in bold general lookbook how i style my 365 for every day sh showing dress up dress down um styling with flares blah, 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 flattering such aesthetic reels blah, 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 blah. so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to send this over to the creative lead who is covering on that and as i said i wouldn't usually do this but i think when you as a founder or as a manager in general when you have a clear idea of how you want something to be done delegation is so important and i am fucking great at delegating there is no way to be able to do what i do without delegating um but i also think that sometimes at the briefing stage you need to give enough you can't expect people to be able to read your mind so i wouldn't do this all the time we have some pretty clear formulas in terms of launches i've worked really closely with the socials team before so i kind of just wanted to brain dump in for this one and i often brain dump for things that i have a pretty clear idea of how i want them to be done just because there's no point the team guessing doing loads of work and then doing that i'll make it very clear if i'm going to be briefing before work is done and then hopefully i can be helpful i'm in the office alone because it is past six and generally people do leave at 5 30 yeah. which is nice so I'm going to keep working until about 6.45, 6.50 and then my lovely, lovely boyfriend is going to drop me off at my dinner just because he has a hectic work schedule this week and so do I. So it's nice to get a half hour little lift in to spend some time together. At this stage in the day, usually I'd be doing approvals, but I'm going to do the student planner draft didn't come through to me yesterday. So I'm going through that today and I asked for some opinions on my story. So I'm going to collate that all together and get that over to the team. Super early start tomorrow. I've got like a speaking event and I like like 7.15. Perfect because it's not like I'm feeling on the verge of death. I am going to race through this last bit of work and I'm not feeling like going to a dinner. I have to be very very honest with you all but I'm not a flake and also it's a load of founders and I feel like probably what I do need right now is to be like flagellated. What's that word? Let's google it. That is not what I mean at all. 
I have just googled flagellation and it has come up as flogging or beating either as religious discipline or for sexual gratification and I'd like to very seriously clarify that that is not what I'm getting from this dinner just looking through our KPIs for the week but it's just like insane like even if you look at okay so in December or November we when we'd look at our daily sales number we'd extract the launches from it so that we'd be able to get an actual average of like daily sales and then be like these are the spikes during launches and we moved away from like a launch based company way before then our drumbeat now is the number that we would count as a launch day upwards like a big spike back then and that's only like like less than six months ago we do be growing we do be have grown a lot i have made such a grave error i am desperate for the toilet and i do this thing where like i want to get my current task done before i go to the toilet because i get so distracted so easily and so i did that and now everyone's left and i forgot my key today so i don't have a fob so i can't get back into the office if i leave our part of the office to go to the toilet and I'm desperate for the toilet. I'm gonna plan my day for tomorrow. Also, accidentally ordered the big bags of these crisps. Then, in another series of accidents, accidentally ate the whole big bag. 700 calories of crisps, I just ate as a snack. So, I filled it all in, which means I now have kind of full visibility on what's gonna be taking most of my time tomorrow, alongside meetings and the event and all of those things, which means I can, I've dumped it and so it's not allowed to enter my brain over the evening, otherwise it will be terrible company. I'm literally about to put myself, I'm not even joking. That'll be fun on the vlog. I wanna be able to have a proper catch up in the car, so I'm gonna say bye to you now. It has been a pleasure. I'm sorry I've been such a Debbie Downer. It is just the way it goes sometimes, and I have no doubt that next week I'll be telling everyone that my job is the best job in the world. So don't trust me, don't trust my emotions, don't trust yourself, eat, sleep, Rave repeat. I also just think there's like so much on social, like I'd much rather say when I'm having a shit time. I'm sure it probably comes across as like, oh fucking woe is me. I've got such a great job, I'm in such a great position and I am complaining. Like I'm sure people will look at my socials and be like, oh, what a great job. And like work is work. You're not gonna start something or like find a job you love and literally love it every day. There are gonna be times when you fucking hate it and that's fine. It's work, like it's not meant to be the love of your life. You can love parts of it and obviously ideally I hope for everyone that they'll enjoy it and love it and like all of this, but we have such unrealistic expectations because th this whole like dream sold through work thing. But anyway. Sorry for the little rant, but I feel like that's necessary to say because I have one of the best jobs in the world and I fucking hate it sometimes. And that is just life and work. It is not reality not to expect that.